Another homegrown, um, this time with Azure. That's right. So uh, Ampere is the leading uh, ARM server processor provider um, to hyperscalers. Uh, AWS uh, right came out first with their own homegrown, but it's only available on, on Azure. Um, Ampere is now available on Azure, um, on almost available almost GA on Google Cloud, also available on Oracle Cloud and Alibaba Cloud. So, you know, this company is really uh, making a move. And um, ARM infrastructure overall between server and clients is very, very strategic to Microsoft. So not only are they re-rolling all their tools and all their applications and operating systems uh, on the server side, but they're also doing this on, on the client side. Uh, and we've seen uh, the Surface team uh, embrace uh, Qualcomm ARM-based processors in, in their own uh, product line. So a couple surprises for me uh, with this is, is, first of all, more regions than I thought, 10 regions, um, uh, VMs and containers. They're supporting four different operating systems. Uh, they had some really good quotes from folks like Ansys, Avanade, Datadog, uh, Elastic. Um, I, I know there have to be more um, because you know they do need to, um, what's the right word? If you made a web application, you don't have to worry about doing much work only let's say if you wrote something in C++, would you have to uh, recompile? But I hear stories of it taking, you know, five minutes to get your application ready uh, to move from x86 uh, uh, over, over to ARM. Um, multiple languages for development, Java 11, Java 17, Open Java, uh, native uh, .NET 6, uh, and Gosh, Visual Studio 22, if you're looking for an IDE to help you to develop something uh, for C++, C Sharp, uh, web applications, uh, and multiple different VMs with different types of processing, memory, and storage capabilities. So NetNet for me, uh, Microsoft uh, announced more than I had expected and Ampere is a company that quite frankly I didn't pay much attention to before but I think everybody needs to because the next step in what they're doing is they're going to um, essentially create custom CPUs and more custom silicon to surround that. This is the trend line Pat. This is the trend line. Um, ARM, Ampere, Hyperscale cloud providers uh, building their own homegrown. You're going to see it at accelerators, CPUs, VMs. This is how they're going to increase operating ink, op ink, and margins. It's how they're going to define and differentiate offerings. I think the key in the question is, you know, the impact of the traditional CPU providers and the traditional server providers, and what that impact is going to be. X86. Of course, it's going to be the big question mark. You know, we just talked about Intel. The good news is compute is going to grow as a whole. So the question is, what's the distribution of a percentage of TAM on these homegrown uh, versions versus the, um, you know, the off the shelf? And so that's going to be, you know what you and I always say, there's got to be three plus, you know, more competition, the better. I'm going to quote right. you. And I think more competition, better. There's going to be workloads that are going to make sense to run on x86. There's going to be workloads that are going to be built and, you know, built to run. You know, we talk a lot about, um, you know, cloud, you know, cloud scale. We talk a lot about silicon design for certain workloads. That's going to continue to happen too. Microsoft's aggressive. Microsoft's growth is aggressive. I expect this to continue.